I don't know about you guys, but that is why <laughs> I don't like morgues. Ugh. Well, maybe that'll teach you to go to go to morgues again, Batman. <laughs> well, at least we've dealt with Scarecrow for now. Huh. Joker left us another chalk trail to follow. Oh, look. It wasn't Gordon. Crane's yeah. gas must have affected me more than I thought. I think that's that was pretty obvious, that? Bruce. Having trouble figuring out what's real and what's just a bit of a twisted Whoops. mind. Same here. Huh. <laughs> just roll with you it. You got time to get through the it door. It's easier once you get in. It really huh. does. Yeah, I'm sure it does. Hello, boys. Really? Gotta do a stun attack for this guy. See, if I can just... See, that's the thing. I can do regular attacks all I want on this guy. He's just gonna block it the whole time. Ow! Should've countered. Only when I do a stun can I actually... Have a chance at taking this guy down. No more tricks. Just one last puzzle and you can have more. And a little really? more. <laughs> oh, I huh. can't wait. Really? A little more. Uh, with Joker <laughs> when you say, oh, you'll have a little more. Oh, that's not good. So he's just ready to give me Gordon now, huh? I, th I just realized why I keep pressing L1. I think it's going to be Detective Vision. It's because that's what was what was switched in um, Arkham Origins. It's like the buttons were this kind of pretty much the same for Asylum and City, but Origins kind of switched it up. Which kind of is understandable, considering that was a different developer. But Oh, this is going back the way I came. Can I even get through this door to get back there? Nope, it is locked. So you would have to... Yeah, it's blocked. So you'd have to use that same vent system to go this way. Alright. Let's go the way that those chattering teeth were at. Over here. Last one. There we go. Destroyed 20 teeth. Well, here's the smiley face. I guess we're here. Your precious police commissioner is just through the glass. Take a look. Harley's under strict instructions to kill the old man if any of my guys even think you're in the room. They're patrolling down there. I've told them all you're on the way. There's Gordon. So here's the deal. If you could find a way to get to Harley without anyone realizing, I'll give you your next present. Fail, and the old Carter dies. Hell, I may even give you Harley. <laughs> it looks like you could use a new sidekick. Uh, thanks, but no thanks, Joker. <laughs> as much as I may appreciate the offer, uh, I don't need another sidekick, and especially not Harley. <laughs> that was great. He was like, oh, heck, I may even just give you Harley. <laughs> Alright, we got the secrets mount. Those who are stuck. Hmm. There's something interesting about this teddy bear. I don't know what it is. Oh, that's right. It's a riddle. Bang. Huh. Dead fathers. So this is... See, look at this picture of Bane. Hmm. Looks a little different compared to the Bane from Dark Knight Rises. Am I right? <laughs> Believe it or not, this to me is actually the more real, authentic, uh, comic version of Bane. Compared to the Bane from that movie. In fact, here is a interesting. Here's the here's his backstory. Imprisoned from birth to serve his dead father's sentence, Bane was raised inside the horrific environs of a Santa Prisca prison. His only friend in the hellhole was a teddy bear he named Osis, Osito. Finding solace in smuggled books and meditation, he developed incredible powers of concentration. When he was subjected to military experiments using a steroid code named Venom, his iron forged will help him survive when other test subjects had died and he managed to escape determined to prove his worth he sought out batman and broke the dark knight's spine which is one of the most iconic comic book 
covers of all time. That image of him literally putting Batman like over his knee and breaking his back, breaking his spine. Just it's it's such an amazing, memorable image. I remember the first time I saw it, I could not believe it. It was just so um, incredible. But Batman recovered and managed to best Bane, cutting off the precious venom supply that transforms Bane into a superhuman. Boy, that tells you, not even a broken spine can stop Batman. <laughs> he breaks his spine and he's, he's like, eh. He shrugs it off and still beats Bane. His first ever appearance was Batman Vengeance of Bane number 1 in January of 1993. A master strategist, intense focus... Strong reaction to Venom, giving him physical, incredibly enhanced physical abilities, determined to best Batman. But the, what this also doesn't mention is that um, he also had, um, you know, in fact, one of the reasons why he wears that mask is that he actually has a bit of a uh, lucha libre, a uh, lucha background. He was a uh, a lucha, a, a wrestler. You know, he was, you know, that, you know, and and down in the like South America or. You know, the, in the the nation national heritage of Bane is always uh, never been fully clear if he if he was from South America, if he was from um, Cuba or Mexico or just 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 some kind of Spanish origin. But um, yeah, in in pro wrestling in those countries, uh, they're famous for wearing uh, masks and being known as uh, luchadors. Uh, so you know. Those kinds of wrestlers. So that's part of the reason why he wears his mask, at least in some comic lore. So, the, and that's to me is like that kind of mask where it covers the top half of his face. That's to me is the more authentic Bane compared to the Darth Vader looking like Bane in Dark Knight Rises. I mean, don't get me wrong. I I did enjoy that Bane in that movie, but it's just. I just have an issue with them completely changing a character when you know the character so well from their true comic origins. You know, that's my only issue with that. So anyway, enough with me being get, getting on my soapbox about the differences between the Banes from the comics and the movie. Let's just let's just try and save Gordon. Got to get through this room without Harley. And, oh, look at that. Four of her thugs in there see me. Uh, actually three. No, no, four. Hold on a second. Who is that? And is he, like, being hanged up in suspension or something? Whoever that is. That's what it looks like. It looks like he's being held by Joe restraints up, up in midair. He wants the old man kept safe from Batman. Anyone gets near him. And it won't be me carrying the can. No problem. Huh. Nothing's getting past me. Batman will be a dead man, and I'll be famous. <laughs> Whatever. Get over there and keep looking. Now go! Amazing that these thugs think that they can beat, you know, take me down up, when boys. some of the, the commissioners just greatest criminals never could. Spot the bat freak. Well, you hardly off the old man. I've got a shiny prize for the one who sees him first. Huh. <laughs> uh, that's, that's just pretty cool or pretty funny that Joker is, like, encouraging both myself and the thugs to uh, to win at this. He's like, he's, like, he's encouraging me to get, like get there first before himself. Harley kills him. Someone bring me a <laughs> bucket. Ah, uh, Harley, come on. But that he's also encouraging the thugs to uh, make sure to see me. Take this guy out. Nighty night. It's gonna be so cool, old man. Just wait and see. Let's go ahead and open up this vent here. Make sure that uh, I have access to it while I while I can get access to it. So that's open if in case I ever need it. Like this one here. Oh, where's the trophy? Anyone else skulking around? He died. The guy's just standing there. He's just waiting for me to put him to sleep. The other two, at least they're patrolling. When Mr. J kills Batman, we're gonna get married. It's what? gonna be so cool. Joker, you didn't tell me that. Oh, can I have an invitation? Oh, wait. It's, she said after he kills me. Oh, okay. So I wouldn't be invited to the wedding. <laughs> 
Be like, ooh, can I get an invitation? You know, you really should color that hair of yours. All that gray makes you look so old. Ah, uh, at this point, Gordon is, uh... You won't get away with this. <laughs> Gordon's no spring chicken anymore by this point. Oh, boy. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, I may have gotten myself cornered here. Whoops. Don't see me, don't see me, don't see me, don't see me, don't see me. Remember, you even smell a man in tights and Harley kills the old man. You even smell an old man in tights? Joker, I don't smell. Hmm. He's facing that way, so let's see if we can get this guy here while he's over there. too much to see me hurt. Guys, maybe not so much. <laughs> okay. One more, and then I can get to Harley. Seriously, who? I can't even see who it's who's in here. It's like all fogged up in there. <laughs> Look at this. Someone's just being hung up in the air like that, suspended in midair. Are those tubes? You guys see that? You think anything you gotta say matters to me? Huh. Doesn't matter how fast you move when you're crouched, because uh, you're pretty much just, uh, it'd be the same as just uh, slowly walking from behind. Okay. Well, we can't go through here, because she's going to see me. Oh, there's a trophy right here. Might as well grab that while I'm up here. Anyone out there seen Bat Brain yet? No? Not a surprise. She's chicken. Mr. J has one again. Think again, Harley. What? Through the glass! Boom! <laughs> you Very took nice. longer than I thought. He's out of control. He's Very trying funny, to prove Gordon. something. I'm not sure I can stop him this time. You'll do it. Don't Batman, think that way, listen. Bats. We're not alone. He's got yeah, something else down there. I don't know what it is. What a blabbermouth! Spoiling <laughs> the surprise. Be quiet. I already oh, spoiled it, am Joker. I getting to you? Am I? Good. It's easy to spoil the surprise <laughs> when I use detective vision and can see someone, a skeleton, being hung up in midair like that. But who is it? It wants Dr. Young's login. Never mind that. Get behind <laughs> me. Now. Bane. Bane. Ah, mm. here's Bane. Whoa! He's I shrunk. I out a black gate. Cut me down. Look at he's all skin Who and bones. Did this to you? Dr. Young, the Bruja. She did this? She drained the venom I call from the Bruja. my blood. Must. That's witch in Spanish. Sorry, has been. The good doctor won't has be been. A problem much longer. How do you like what does that mean? What say we cut him down? Uh, maybe, let's, let's say we don't. Oh no. He's re-pumping the venom into him. Gordon, run! Oh. This isn't good. Gordon, run. Oh boy, here he comes. Oh, he's got me. Oh, he just threw me through a brick wall. Oh, oh man. Oh boy, here we go. Me and Bane. One on one. Treat him the same as that big guy we saw earlier. Cut off one of the tubes of venom. Okay. I went to all this trouble and that's the best you got, Bane! Help him out, boy! Uh... How about no? Yeah. You missed! I will crush you! Did he just make a... Uh, insinuate that he would, uh... Use his neck? Or, not his neck. Need to break my spine, like in the comics. Ah, ah! I didn't dodge. Get up here and 
Get another two. Alright. Ow! Look at all these guys. Oh, you guys want some, huh? Ow! I wasn't paying attention to Bane. He just smacked the guy to the ground. That's hilarious. I will crush you. Ah, oh, why did I try and do that with him charging at me? Oh, that was a bad idea. All right, I think this might be it. Let's see, does it... Yeah! There we go. All the place is coming down. Oh, man. Better get out of here. <laughs> coming out of a sewer. He's a ninja turtle now. <laughs> He's a bat turtle. Why is he powering Batman, up the battle? Okay? I'm fine. Oh, there you are, Gordon. Where's Quinn? Gone. Must have gotten loose while Bane was throwing you around. Ha, <laughs> of course. We need to get you off the island. I'm not a rookie. I can handle myself. It's not about that, Gordon. Oh! Oh, he's back. Great. I will break you, Batman! Then the Bruha! No, Bane. This time I break you! <laughs> I must break you! With the Batmobile! Boom! Oh! Ho, ho, ho. Right into the sea. Have a nice night swimming, Bane. Jim, get back to the mainland. It's too dangerous here. I don't like leaving you here. It's not about that. He'll be he'll be Radio more at at peace of mind if you're Gotham. safe. Gotham will panic. You're needed there. Yeah, there's Bane that. Bane called I'll hand things here. You hand things there. What does it mean? It means witch. It's Spanish for witch. Yep. Like I said, Bane is has a, a Spanish origin. He's fluent in Spanish. Oracle, go through the city's computers. Pull up all you can find on Doctor Young. I'll go through anything you find. Once what was I get she to the up cave. to? A bat With Bane. cave on Arkham Island? He I has a bat cave ago. here? It's best to plan ahead for situations like this. How'd you manage what? to keep this a secret? Yeah. It's me, remember? So do you <laughs> he's, think Dr. Young's been like, Secrets is, my, is the what I do best. The same that turns Bane into that animal? Yes, oh, gosh. I'm worried. Bane seemed even more powerful than usual. Joker wants the venom, and that can only be trouble. I'm heading to Dead Man's Point in Arkham North. I'll contact you once I'm in the Batcave. Wow. Why? Oh, I know. I think I now get it. You guys remember that message we saw from Dr. Young earlier about this Project Titan? And she mentioned a Patient X? Bane must have been Patient X. Wow, and she's using his venom to make this pro- Wow. That is not good. So it looks like we gotta head this way. Try and make our way back over here to Arkham North. Okay. Ah, oh, I keep pressing L1. You know what I realized? Oh, I just remembered. There was an interview tape in that room where Bane was being kept. And I wasn't able to get it. Because it immediately went to a oh. And the only way I would have to get I would be able to get that is if I went back. Well, you guys don't have to worry. I'm going to wait until after I beat the game to go around and get all the collectibles. And once I do that, I'm probably going to do what I did at the end of Assassin's Creed 2, which is make some extra videos uh, showing what happens when you get all the stuff. Like all the in well, like we'll listen to all the interview tapes. Um, we'll take a look at what ha happens with some of the other collectibles, things like that. It's the back! Hi! <laughs> Boom! Ow! Ow! Aww! Is, 
but they just need to go all the way over there and kick that guy in the face. You're gonna have Ow! Elbow to the jaw! Oh, man. He may not kill, but boy does... Boy, you know he's putting these guys like in the, in the hospital or the medical room. He's here. Oh, it's a running bat! He's just running right at us! Oh, nice kick. Like, what up? What up? I missed. <laughs> I was gonna keep that Bruce Lee yelling the whole time. But he just straight does a roundhouse kick and he just co completely misses the guy. <laughs> Let's take a look in here. Let's see if Joker has anything new to say here in the visitor center. Joker, I'm back. You're late for your appointment. Very rude. I'm sorry. Well, seeing as you're here now, we might as well get started. <laughs> He's my psychologist. Tell me about <laughs> or my <your> psychiatrist. <laughs> Anything stand out? Ooh, is that a tear I see? Too painful? <laughs> we'll come back to it later then. How about Baby Boy then? Oh, that you were shocked to see him, weren't you? Personally, I was hoping he'd fold you up like a piece of paper and let me stamp you crazy. But even I don't get everything I want. So <laughs> what was he doing here? Oh, questions, questions, questions. <laughs> yeah, I think that's uh, one thing is that um, depending on your progress in the game, if you come back, Joker will comment on like what you recently did. So, like, there he was referencing the fact that I encountered Bane. But just picture that. Just picture Joker as your psychiatrist. He's like, all right, sit down on the couch. Oh, let's talk about your childhood. <laughs> it's like, how about we don't, Joker? Okay, now that we've done that, let's make our way over here in this direction. Back towards Arkham North. What was it called? Dead Man's Point? Gee, that sounds pleasant. Arkham Mansion Botanical Gardens. So, so, according to the map here, we can actually find a shortcut here that takes us, I, or maybe a shortcut that takes us to Arkham North, or then, or maybe we're supposed to actually head back this way. Huh. I think that's what it is. Yeah. I think what I was seeing there on the map is actually probably the way to get to this dead man's point. So actually we gotta go this way. Oh, more chattering teeth. What's the deal with dead man's point? It's been a favorite suicide location on Arkham Island for over a hundred years. Yeah, I know. I once saved an unfortunate inmate from leaping off into the rocks below. Huh. I found a cave entrance and over the years have moved a number of supplies here. It's a regular home away from home. Huh. He's got a secondary bat cave on Arkham Island. In case he ever, ever needed it for a situation like this. My gosh, this guy knows how to plan ahead of time. He's here! I just run up and punch him in the face. I was land my punch before he landed Get his. On the and stop on his Boom! Now that was some overhead punch. Okay, so according to the map, I have to go over here. So looks like it's past this little gate here. Huh? Wonder what's up here. <sighs> Hmm. Anything up here? Oh, oh, got up here. Very nice. 
Oh, there's another one right there. My respect, Dark Knight Detective. Huh. I'll let you help me find my socks if you keep this up. Ha ha ha. Very funny, Jim Carrey. <laughs> you know, I know that uh, Batman Forever was not that great. You know, and Val Kilmer, he wasn't necessarily the best Batman. You know, I'll definitely be the one of the first to say that. I mean, and as far as the versions of uh, Two-Face and Riddler in that movie, you know, obviously, you know, being a fan of Jim Carrey, I was definitely entertained by his Riddler. I know it's not necessarily the best Riddler, because probably the best Riddler was the Riddler from the animated series. I would love to see that Riddler in a movie. But uh, it was entertaining. It was pretty funny, even though it was silly. And as Tommy, Tommy Lee Jones for Two-Face, you know, I love Tommy Lee Jones, but uh, not exactly the, the best and most intimidating version of Two-Face. All right, so we found another chronicle of uh, Arkham here. They brought the animal before me, shameless and barking like a mad dog. Huh. For what felt like days, I endured his boasts. He took pleasure recounting his actions. Cataloging his depraved crimes. What should have been revenge turned to pity. This poor dog needed my help. Hmm. I wonder who he was referring to. Probably just some random criminal that he had in his uh, institution. institution. So, yeah, I'm making progress. This is the right way. I saw it on the map there, so. Huh. Cobwebs, broke bricks, just everywhere. Oh, look at this. Skulls. Huh. Uh, what was that you used to call this, Bruce? A uh, regular home away from home? You're starting, you're starting to scare me, Bruce. Another trophy right there else in here? No? Just this little pathway up here. So just... There we go. Oh, it's got a nice view here. What now? Woo! Leap of faith! Just like an Assassin's Creed! Ah! Glided to the end... Probably to the entrance of the cave. I wonder how what this bad cave is like. It's probably very similar to the to the, uh, the real one. Identity confirmed. Disabling countermeasures. Huh. Security deactivated. Gotta hurry. Ah. Huh. Oh, now his suit's all wet. On. Ooh. <laughs> on. Ah, oh, see, he's got voice commands in here. I guess he's got an Xbox Connect hooked up. <laughs> he just said on, and the lights came on. It would be hilarious if he just all of a sudden, if he, if it was a clapper, and you, he just walks in and he just does a. <laughs> that would have been hilarious. So look, that looks like uh, the Bat Boat. Huh. He's got that kind of stored here in case he needs to use it. Ah, oh, it's, uh, it's a pretty nice, pretty, you know, it's kind of a mini version of the Batcave. It's not really, uh, yeah, the, it's not, it's not really, like, as vast or as, uh, you know, impressive as the one back in Gotham, but, or at the Wayne Manor, but it's kind of a mini version. It's got Batboat, it's got his standard computer and, techno and, uh, equipment he needs for stuff like that, so. Alright, let's take a look at her research. Dr. Young was heading up a project. It was big. Project Lots of Titan. external funding. Here are the last notes she filed. I can't make sense of it. What does it mean? Looks like she was experimenting on the Arkham patients. This new chemical only Dr. barely Pettyon. resembles the original Venom compound. There are a number of changes that appear to amplify the strength of the drug. Multiple references to a Titan formula. Even a small amount could trigger a Venom-like transformation in the host. Huh. Eliminating the need for the storage tank Bane requires. Wow. Hang on. These notes aren't complete. The formula is missing. That must be the secret Dr. Young is hiding. 
If Joker gets his hands on this, he will create an army of a thousand Banes. Oh gosh, so that's what's My going God. on. Is Joker crazy enough to do that? What am huh. I saying? You've got this to is Joker him. we're talking about. <laughs> oh, I got a new gadget. Or a new toy. It's time for the uh, probably my favorite line from the original Batman movie. Where does he get all those wonderful toys? <laughs> the Bat Claw. This grapnel attachment can be used to grab, grab and pull objects from a distance. That's probably how I can get some of those vents that were mounted on the wall. I'm going after her. She was heading to the mansion with cash. I'm going up top via the catacombs. Ah, oh, okay. So we gotta go back via the sewer system and then head back to Arkham East and get to the mansion. Try and find uh, Dr. Young and Cash. Okay, then. Huh. This is the way to get back, but I'm gonna have to pull these, uh, pull these things. Let's pick the one underneath. There we go. Okay. Ugh. Alright. <laughs> Off. <laughs> yep, I was right. So this is how it lets you know. Hey, now you can actually pull these off from the walls. <laughs> pull that down. And then... Zip. Sorry, boss. Took a little longer to find them than you figured it would. Oh, I'm sorry. I'll try and be more precise next time I'm planning an island takeover. Hey, huh. I didn't mean. What criticism I can take? I mean, I'm not perfect. Well, come to think of it, I'm pretty close to perfect, aren't I? Where was I? Oh yes. <laughs> From a worm like you, a worm who's only. Rolling around free because I arranged to open his cell is something I will not tolerate. I'm sorry, boss. I, I didn't mean it like that. Please. Oh, yeah. see now you're, you're in trouble, buddy. I'll just have someone drive round to your house and break your wife's leg. Okay? Oh, so man. You got a problem with my generous nature? Uh, no. Um, I, I guess not. Uh, uh thanks. Okay, <laughs> thanks. Let's just. Come the matter closed. Did I ever tell you the one about the guy who came home to find his wife? A paraplegic? <laughs> oh boy. Another chronicle of Arkham. The island changed little over the years. Its reputation was in tatters. But I vowed to fix it. As the buildings were rebuilt, I saw the future. A bright, wonderful future. What do you call someone who has failed to solve three quarters of my riddles? A Batman. Is wrong with this thing? Hey, can you hear me? Huh. You don't need to come up here and get your ears cleaned out. Got a new way. It's a killer. <laughs> huh. Huh. By the way, that was Riddler's way of saying that you have completed 25% of the possible riddles in this game. Huh. No, nah, I can't grab that with this. I was hoping I could, but nope. I wonder. Can I... R1? N no, I cannot. <laughs> Whoopsie. I guess I don't have what I need to get that trophy over there. Oh, well. Okay, so when we come back, we will continue making our way back to the surface via the sewer system so we can get to the mansion and uh, have a little chat with Dr. Young regarding this project titan and what she did to bane stay tuned 